everybody welcome to another video we start this one off with some roadworks and a one-way system here now a couple of weeks ago you could not turn right here it was pretty pointless because you would just end up to a dead end the road was completely closed now the road is open but the sign is still there so there's no reason for that sign to be there other than the great British workforce have not done their job properly so you can go up here and turn right there's nothing saying that you can't go up there and turn right but it's just a case of the great British workforce again they've reopened the road but left the bloody signs there so there is absolutely no reason that you can't turn right here other than the sign being left there a couple of days later this sign was laying on the floor been kicked over rather than removed it's been kicked over by a frustrated driver I think and as you can see there is nothing here saying that you can't turn right here but we're not looking at that we're going to go to the rear camera now and show you something different see that car there where is it going it's still one way going the other way I don't think there's enough no entry signs there for it what the hell is it looking at Now in this clip, as you can see, there's cars parked on the right hand side. So we have priority over oncoming traffic, especially if you're in the gap first. As you can see, there's a couple of cars there that have just done the right thing, moved over. But then we come to this classic driver that don't look further than the end of their bonnet. You couldn't see us coming, no? You couldn't see us coming and just wait there. Why do people do that? Why do they make it hard for their self? I mean, look how it's supposed to be done. Like this car here just sees us coming a mile away and just waits. Now in this clip, we're looking at the lorry to the left hand side. Now I know it's got a job to do and it's got no other way of doing it other than blocking the pavement and using the crane across the pavement. Now you can't get down that pavement because obviously there's not enough room and you've got the support beam there stopping you anyway. I think there should be cones around that support because as I've already shown you some drivers do not look further than the end of their bonnet and that is sticking out like a sore thumb for some of them drivers to actually just drive straight into. So where do you guys stand on something like this? Do you actually think that this is okay they've got a job to do and let them get on with it? Or should there be some more safety procedures in place here? I mean, their safety procedure at the moment is one poxy cone on the pavement here. That is it, one poxy cone. Obviously, if you're coming from the way we're coming, there's a crossing right here, right in front of my car there. There is a crossing, but there's nothing on the other side of this. So let us know in the comments down below, what do you think about this sort of thing? I think whatever you're thinking at the moment, it's going to change when you see the rest of this video. When I go past this lorry, your option will change on this, I'm sure. So what do you think now, having seen her there? She can't use the pavement, she cannot cross the road because there's no drop curb on the opposite side of the road. And she didn't even have a cone to look at there because it's on that side of the lorry. They're only allowed one cone per driver. God, look at that. What can she do? She can't get through there. Now on this clip we come to a yellow box junction and as we all know you're not supposed to enter it unless your exit is clear. I can see up in front there's nothing in my way. This car in front though. What are you stopping for? Now obviously it was put off by the car on the left hand side. The blood idiot just stopped on double yellow lines and it got confused. I was outside the yellow box junction but the two cars behind me wasn't. What are you stopping for? Now if there was a camera on that, they could get fines there because of that idiot there and the one in front of me. Now in this clip, the car behind me is turning left, but we're looking at a car behind that that can't wait for it to turn left, has to pull out slightly, even though a car was coming up next to her. So that is a pretty bad habit to have. And this is a young girl that's driving this car. And she's got quite a few bad habits already. And I know we've all got bad habits, but she's she's very young. A second habit here is obviously driving too close to me. And there's no reason for it. You know, it's a 20 mile an hour speed limit. And even at 20 miles an hour, that is too close. And she continues to be like this all the way down the road. The road changes to 30 to 40 and then we're 
pick it up in a little while when it turns to 60 for our next bad habit as we enter the mad mile here straight to the outside lane not overtaking anything see I'm driving to the speed limit so obviously there's quite a few bad habits here already and obviously I've speeded it up and she's overtaking well she's just about to overtake a van here because we're coming up to traffic lights so we're slowing up for her to overtake that's basically all it is that's why she's overtaking people so she's her lane choices are poor as well as everything else is poor but here comes another one turning right another bad habit Oh, and the phone comes out. The phone comes out on the lap. Damn it, I wish I had a bloody side camera. Now, as I've said before, roundabouts are there to help traffic flow. But it can only help if you bloody indicate. Where you going, mate? Put an indicator on, eh? For fuck's sake. It's this little weeny switch that lets everyone know where you're going. A lever, even. It's a little lever, or we used to call it a stalk in the old days. I don't know if they could still call it a stalk. So all you got to do is just push it up or down. Now here's another one that I keep saying. If you make someone slow down doing any sort of manoeuvre in front of you, then you shouldn't have pulled out. <laughs> Put his hand up as if it's so what? What's wrong with that? Uh, I think I had to slow down for you, mate. Always an Audi. In this clip, we're looking at the car in front of us. What was that all about? You swerved to avoid the bloody manhole covered in and almost go into a van. How stupid of you. Going over a manhole cover will not damage your car. Hitting a van next to you will. Now, as I get closer to this car, I'm not sure whether he was avoiding the manhole cover because he's on his phone. one hand up to his head I wonder if he's on the phone or he's holding his head got a headache maybe now in this clip we're looking at the Range Rover right in front of us I can see to the right hand side there that there's a woman going to be crossing with a pram the Range Rover can't see that we've already covered in this video about people not seeing any further than the end of their bonnet and this is a classic example of it because that was one You'll see a black car to the right hand side of the Range Rover there. Yes, it does something stupid in a minute. It's trying to do a U-turn out of this hospital because of the traffic there. We're, no one's going anywhere. So it does a U-turn right in the neck of that turn in there, which is pretty daft. But I can see it. Again, the Range Rover cannot see it. There it goes. It's going to do a U-turn now. The Range Rover is going to overtake the car in front of it. But it doesn't see that Kia doing the u-turn and obviously won't wait for it and go straight across what is wrong with these people why can they not see any further than the end of their bonnet now the camera doesn't do this justice we're looking at a car coming out from the left hand side here it was actually going quite fast and it was quite a hard break it doesn't really do it justice on the camera though but it made me alert to it, it made me look what it was doing no front number plate. I wonder if you're, you've got a warehouse around the corner and you're going to this dealership here. And this goes into here you should have trade plates on if you are and maybe yeah there you go there you should be indicating as well that's what's happened the 
not allowed to go on the road though without number plates, even for that little distance. A little petrol head moment for you there. It's very quick, I'm afraid. Driving is always about trying to make it easier for each other on the road. As you can see now, I'm going to give up my priority to the bus. Shame about the van, making it difficult. That way, mate. Oh, why are you making it difficult? What's wrong with these people? Now in this clip, we're coming into Sutton, where it always goes wrong in this little bit here. There's a cyclist over to the left hand side. That is not a cycle lane there. There is someone in the yellow box junction that if there's a camera there, you are going to get a fine. But we're looking at this pedestrian that's crossing the road here to the left hand side and this Fiat 500. Who says something to her about getting out of the way? And you can tell by the reaction. Someone needs to really look at the highway code again. So moving on from there, about 50 feet, that cyclist is still on the pavement. Now the trouble is, if that was a bike lane or a shared bike lane, it would be on the road. And obviously it's supposed to dismount when crossing traffic lights like that. And obviously, again, that's not going to happen, is it? Now we come to another dangerous manoeuvre now that a young girl don't seem to realise. This van is turning left. Now, you can't see that car. They can't see anything that could be overtaking that van. The van is blocking it. They can't see nothing. And if there was a food delivery guy that's overtaking the van, which they often do in these sort of situations, they won't be able to see that horrible pink car driven by Barbie coming out behind the van there. The thing is, I think Barbie thinks just because this guy is turning left, that's her go, that's her go sign that she can go. And it's not the case. Uh, quite ironic, really, what's on the side of that car anyway, isn't it? And uh, I don't even know if she was even looking to the right, to be honest. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.